Hey, I'm live. And I'm still getting set up right now. Where's everybody at? I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm late. Still getting stuff set up. Gotta get everything rigged. Oh, watch out, Woody. Woody's with me. What's going on? Hey guys, how's it going? I'm out flathead fishing on this little dinky river. I got Woody. Come here, Woody. He's my good luck charm. So, and I could I guess I could use him for bait, but I'm not using him. That's a bad joke. But um, this is a small river. I got a 16 foot hole behind me, and I'm set up right on the top edge of it. And there's a big piece of brush in there. We're gonna give it like 15, 20 minutes, half hour or something, then we'll relocate if we have to. Hey Matt, dude, Spencer doing live flight video. I hope I do too. Um, actually, this is gonna be an experiment. I got, um, I've noticed I was looking through all my flathead fishing pictures and I almost never catch a big flathead when I have a beard. So I made a deal with all the kids at school that if I don't catch a flathead over 20 pounds this weekend, I'm shaving the beard and shaving my head. And after, well, I didn't catch one over 20 pounds this, this weekend. Caught biggest, caught a 13 pound channel, so that was kind of neat, but no, no big flatheads. And they agreed to let me extend it one more day. So I'm gonna do a live stream, and if I get a big boy tonight, I'm shaving the beard. Might leave the mustache, I don't know. I was thinking about doing mutton chops, but I don't know, that'd look ridiculous. Even more ridiculous than I normally do. So, but we'll see what happens, you know. Good luck shaving. Well, we'll use the electric first. What's the biggest catfish you'd, I've caught? Caught a 70-ish pound blue. Oh, got me on the tree. Got that this spring. And then um, I got a flathead around 50 pounds or so. And I've got a handful of them in that ballpark, but I just haven't got one monster, 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 you know. But I don't know, I'll keep my fingers crossed. Did you use the raw hot dog bait that I told you about? Not yet. I have live creek chubs and maybe a little crappie or something like that. I got some little baits because I've been throwing Mondo baits. What school do I teach at? I am at Greene County Middle School. I teach uh, junior high science, 7th, 8th grade. Did 6th grade. I have did a lot of subbing. I subbed anywhere from 5th grade up through high school, like AP courses. What's up, Kyle? Glad you're on here, man. Glad you resubbed. That that hurt my feelings when you told me you unsubscribed. So glad to have you back. Well, I gotta get baits in the water. Gotta get sinkers on the line. I just got regular Carolina rigs. What's up, buddy? It's my boy Spencer, the legend. Whoa, slow down, man. Uh, I'm just running three-way, or not three-way, just regular Carolina rigs. And I do have one bobber I'm gonna throw out once it gets dark. The 80, 85 pound braid, running a little bit lighter. I got 40 pound mono on this leader, but I'm gonna throw a little bait. Thanks, thanks for the luck, everybody. A bunch of people have said good luck, and I really appreciate it. Oh, dropping sinkers, that'll call them in. Be stealthy, Bauer. Oh, Woody, calm down, jeez. Dunk some chubs, I'm ready to see a pole bender. Me too. I got some, some chubs with me, actually, so good call. There's this, uh, current seam right here I'm right on the edge of it and if fun thing for anchoring my boy hook catfish told me to come watch you live catch a big one I hope I do we're actually gonna end up going to pick Ella up here shortly whenever she notifies me so we'll get to see we'll, we'll open this guy up and let her eat are you at the raccoon I am NOT I'm on the Des Moines River hold on let me get some creek chubs All right. 
So I got one little guy. I'll put him on the lighter action rod. I just got a four-aught hook. We're gonna try something different. Where's my boys, Michael and Caleb? Oh, are they on here? What's the water level? Um, I want to say the flow's like 5,000. It's super nice for riding a boat. Like, I was wide open the whole way down here. Woody was loving it. His hair was flowing majestically in the wind. He said thank you. And uh, all was right in the world. All right, tangle him on my, so I'll drop him in the water for a minute. And I'll get the other one on there. I nose hook my creek chubs, especially when I'm fishing during the day. Because if you do get them snagged, they're less likely to tear off if you can shake your, your uh, hook out of the snag. So yeah, that's the bait right there. Whew. I don't know, probably what, six inch creek chub? Five incher? I don't know. Four ounces lead, sinker slide. Usually I used fixed sinkers during the day, but you know what? I'm still rigged up from this weekend. Oh yeah, that, that looks good. We'll see if it matters. Oh, you're getting a nice shot of my backside. Sorry about that, guys. Totally unintentional. Pretty sure this is the first time, well, second time I've ever shot live. Definitely first time out of this boat. Wow, it's deep. <laughs> a lot of leaves in the water. We'll see if that becomes a problem. Okay. And we're fishing. If you wonder what I'm looking at, I'll show you. How do you slide between a Carolina rig versus a fixed sinker? If I'm fishing at night, it's always a sliding sinker. If I'm fishing during the day, it's a fixed sinker. Creek chub looks like a giant minnow. My mom said I can't spam. That's very nice of her to do that. Uh, you probably can't see anything. Yeah, my, there's that big log poking up just over the top of my motor. And that's it's about 15 feet right by that log. And I'm set up right on the drop off. I might rig up another rod and put cut bait on, we'll see. I'm waiting to hear a <laughs> rod goes down. Be nice. Too bad you can't see him in the back. Dude, going live's a lot of fun. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it that much, but I love it. I love spam. You know, I've never actually had spam. I'm, I'm probably not a true catfisherman saying that. Creek chubs suck. I do know good on creek chubs. I don't know if it's because I'm not hooking it right or what. Honestly, people get worked up over hooking their baits. Like, when you're flathead fishing, you're fishing for a fish that's going to just engulf that bait in one bite. Like, a 30-pounder can eat a 5-pound carp in pretty much one bite. So when you're throwing like a five, six, seven inch creek chub, it, it doesn't really matter where you hook it as long as it's gonna stay alive and the hook isn't gonna go back into the bait. So I wouldn't get too worked up over how you're hooking them. If there's current, I hook them in the nose. If it's daytime, I hook them in the nose because they get snagged, they don't come off the hook as easy. Nighttime, if, or, oh. What's something going on? We'll, we'll let them get serious. But um, if it's slack water, hook them through the, the tail, it'd be great. Do you run Abu 7000s? Yeah, I, I got four 7000s and then some 6500s. Bottom all use, like people, they don't get sucked into wanting to buy mon like brand new stuff. There's a uh, fisherman swap meet. We have that like uh, the end of every, every February. And all of my 6500s, except two of them I've got there, I never spent more than 35 bucks on one. I have several Abu Garcias. I, ha I have one that I've had since I was 12. But I've been catching walleyes recently. I haven't even been fishing for them. <clears throat> Once the flathead starts slowing down in October a little bit, I'll, I'll fish for more. I'll go hit flatheads in wintering holes in the afternoon and go walleye fish in the morning. Fish the creek while the pop back up. I had a good night fishing, fish the creek with the river rising, flooding, guess they're moving the creeks. Yeah, the water's rising, they go in the creeks. There's actually a creek up here that I like to fish at times when the water's rising, but it's dropping right now, so I'm, I'm fishing in the hole. My, my theory, which sometimes works, sometimes doesn't, is that uh, as 
the water drops, they tend to go deeper. If it's coming up, they'll run shallower, but there's no hard or fast rules. Like sometimes, I don't know, they, they do what they want. Flyheads especially, channel cats are kind of on the same line, but flyheads do what they want because there's nothing to tell them otherwise, especially in Iowa. There's no blue cats. Come here, Winnie. No blue cats or anything like that. We don't skipjack. You do better on skipjack. Dude, I, I love that stuff. We just don't have any here. I actually have a couple, like four of them frozen in in my uh, freezer that I'm going to use this fall. But, uh, I don't know. We'll see. we'll see if they even work. They're not native, and I'm pretty big proponent of native baits being the best. He loves that breeze in his face. Feeling majestic, but I don't like this anchor sway, but whatever. Goldfish? Um, Dude, goldfish are awesome. I like to keep them alive, though. I'd never fix fished in Arkansas. I want to go fish uh, Lake Ochitoff one of these days. I've heard really good things. But uh, it's a drive. It's like 12 hours. Not not exactly a weekend trip. Maybe next summer. i got so many things I want to do. We might need to make more money somehow. Uh, John's bait tackle sells frozen skipjack. Yep, they do. Um, but like I said, I don't know if they're amazing, amazing and in Iowa, and they're expensive. I mean, even the cheapest skipjack you're going to get are pretty pri pricey. No, it's just water. It's not coffee. It's a good like for catfish. Oh, a dog. Yep. Caleb. Yeah, that, that was Woody. Carolina rig, man. Top notch. Daytime log jam hopping like you do in your kayak. I can't seem to ever have any luck on flyheads during the day. It looks like fun the way you do it. I always have the most luck at night only. Dude, it's all volume. Like, how many prime spots can you roll over and moving baits around in those spots? That's, that's what it's all about. Like, and kind of getting a feel of where they live during the day. And that just comes from experience. Uh, my dog's name's Woody. And he is a purebred mutt rescue dog. We got lucky. We got him when he was a puppy. Then he ran away overnight when he was like six, four, five, six months old. Never thought I'd see him again and got lucky thanks to some of the, the kids on the wrestling team helped me out and we got him back. And then some of their parents, he, he hid in a culvert overnight. It was November, freezing rain overnight, like 25 degrees. I figured he was dead, coyote bait. And somehow, somehow he made a hat, he, he survived. Andrew Wolf, where are you at, man? It's raining over there. I think it's supposed to rain tonight. Hopefully it holds off at least for a little while. Hopefully the flatheads are biting good before the rain. We'll see. Not to start an argument, what do you think about pay lakes? I'm not a huge fan. Um, if they farm raised everything, it wouldn't be a big deal, but to take like public fish out of public water and to reduce the likelihood of other people catching those fish, I think, I think that kind of sucks. But you know, it's it's a big issue, and uh, I can't do much about it right now. Maybe I'll make a video on it someday. We'll see. My next video is going to have a little, talk a little bit about how I do CPR and stuff, which is kind of ironic because I ate catfish before I came out. Catfish, and then my buddy Morris, I don't know if you're watching or not, he's up in Alaska. He's an a airplane mechanic for the Air Force. And, he caught a bunch of halibut and salmon and shot a caribou and <coughs> sent me a little care package. And I've been eating pretty good this week, so thanks, Morris. It's awesome. I've never had halibut. Before. Well, I still haven't had the halibut yet. Never had caribou before, but the salmon's been awesome. Where the river can fill it. I, that, that's cool, man. If you like pay lakes, like I'm not going to tell anybody what to do. I'm just just not a fan of the concept. I, I wish there was a way you could raise monster catfish without being outrageously expensive and then be able to put people on those fish <clears throat> that maybe don't have access to those waters, you know? That would be ideal. It's pretty unrealistic, but it'd be ideal. So, I mean, I'm not going to tell you what to do and what not to do. So, you do you, you, do you man. <clears throat> That's all I'm going to say. <clears throat> There's one lake I'll not touch, but there's two pay lakes I do love. Yeah, that's cool, man. Hopefully, uh, the flatheads start rocking and rolling here soon. Mm.
Tom, are you watching right now? You just messaged me on Facebook. You'll have to uh, send me updates of the Bears game. What am I using? I got Live Creek Chubs out on the bottom. Carolina rigs. There are ones on the drop off of a hole and ones right in front of some brush. Really, really gl glad you like the videos, Alex. I honestly, I really like editing. I really like making them. And Jackson, you're hooked up. Oh, no, you're on. Sorry, bud. <laughs> I get it now. Once again, a little slow. But yeah, the video thing, like, it takes a lot of time. You you have to love it if you're going to do it. I, I wake up at 5 o'clock every morning, and I'm either, I lift weights some mornings, and then other mornings, the mornings I'm not working out, I'm editing video, and then in the evenings I still edit video. But I like making stuff, you know, like, I built, used to build a lot of rods, used to, I still build my own lures lots of times, and to make my own videos is kind of just goes right along. But uh, braid, yeah, I'm using Whisker Seeker braid, 85 pound and then 50 pound leader. I come to Arkansas, I need a fishbowl and dam at Nimrod in June. Big flatheads, I've, Arkansas has monster flatheads. You guys have so much water. That's that's the big thing about Iowa is there's not a ton of water. I mean, there's not an outrageous amount of catfishermen like there is in Missouri and Oklahoma. And I spent some time going to school down in Oklahoma, but there's just not as much water. There's Two main rivers in central Iowa, the Des Moines and the Raccoon, and some tributaries of those. And, um, I don't know. I'm jealous of all the water you have in Arkansas. I had a video on my channel that I learned from my grandpa. You should check it out. It helps if you don't want to use boat bobbers or light sticks. Sweet, man. Chuck Taylor, I'll check it out. And as far as the hot dogs, no, I haven't, I haven't tried them. I'm a big fan of natural baits, but I'll definitely check them out. Oh, that's you, Quebec. Sorry. <laughs> I haven't shaved my beard yet because I give myself a little chance. If I can stick a big one, I'm keeping the beard. And if I don't, I'll probably have a mustache tomorrow. Maybe like the Captain Morgan mustache, Johnny Depp mustache. And it'll look ridiculous. <laughs> Woody, are you ready to take a nap? Look kind of like the dog there. Me? Oh, with the beard? He looks a lot sweeter than I do. He's very suave. Kind of jealous sometimes. For being a, a mutt, he, he cleans up good. Your pen 3, probably 309 right now. Appreciate the luck. Same to you. Where are you out at? What river are you on? Or lake or reservoir, whatever the case is. Is there anyone that inspired me to start my channel? No, not really. I, I, I like watching some, some of the fishing YouTubers. I'm big into watching saltwater. I, I used to do a lot of saltwater when I was in college and I'd spend summers in South Padre, which is kind of why I chase catfish here. But the big thing that got me started was we couldn't NC state record flathead got broke today. That's nuts. The hat's my good luck charm. I'll tell you about the hat in a sec, but uh, what got me started was Ella didn't know what to... Uh, get me for my birthday and Christmas and so I said well you could get me an action camera and that's just kind of where it all started but laugh if he sees a duck in the water maybe trying to catch a dogfish not a catfish it's happened once but he might be the most laid-back dog in the world so I can throw a ball for five minutes and he's pretty much wore out the average depth's about five on the flats and then the holes are anywhere from 10 to 16 15 16 behind me but uh, the hat, um, I've been a lifelong Cubs fan, like, I mean, huge Cubs fan my whole life, but I'd never wear a Cubs hat fishing because they stunk and bad things always happened to them, and I didn't want that bad luck. So I said, uh, if they ever win the World Series, I'll start wearing a Cubs hat when I'm fishing. And in 2016, they won, and uh, I wear a Cubs hat every time I go fishing. And this is the one I've been wearing since 2016. I've actually had it since I was... In high school, I just never hardly wore it because I never wore it fishing. And I don't know, I've, I need to wash it again. I've washed it like five times this year already and sun faded. And we'll see how long this one lasts. And I'll probably be adding, getting another one. Maybe, maybe it'll be a Christmas present to myself or something. We'll see. But about ready to move. About ready to slide back down a hair and see uh, if they're on the back end. Waiting to hear the clickers. I got them locked down, man. I don't. 
I love hearing that clicker sound, but during the day when you fish so close to structure, I just lock them down. And big fish sucks that bait in right away, and you got a random guy, 369. What's going on, man? Go Cubs is right. I can't remember. They're on tonight. I don't remember who they play. I think they wrapped up the series with uh, who they lose to last night. The Reds? I think they lost 2-1. to one. Yeah, they probably play at like 7 or something. Where'd I enter the river at? At the boat ramp. Duh. Now you'll see it here shortly, probably, if Ella gets hold of me and wants me to come pick her up. I'm trying to catch him up. Thanks, Sapper Cats, man. Really appreciate the luck. I could use it. I've not done that great on this river. I've, honestly, this has been the worst year of flyhead fishing I've had since the first year I ever started flyhead fishing. But I've been spoiled with blue cats, so I can't really complain too much there. They play at 840 tonight. Oh, they are down in Arizona. That's right. Arizona's been slumping. Hopefully the Cubs can capitalize on that because they haven't been able to hit the broadside of a barn lately. But I don't know. I guess that's what happens when you either hit a home run or strike out all the time. Uh, Jackson. Is that Jackson? Yeah. What's up, Jackson? Yeah, get out there this weekend. I'll, I'll be there. I'll be out. <laughs> it's water. <sighs> I need it. I'm thirsty. I have some soda water also to uh, splurge a little bit. Pirates did us a huge favor. You are absolutely right. It's, it couldn't have worked out much better with Milwaukee slumping a little bit and then the, the Cardinals hit a big skid in September. But, I mean, as hot as they were in August, it is tough to keep that up. Hey, Jace, how's it going, man? You have an IPA for me. Thanks, man. You can keep them. I'm not a, not a big fan of the hops. I'm, what's up, Frank? How's it going, man? You, hopefully you're out fishing tonight. How is the fishing today? Blade from Hamilton, Texas. Clear from Texas. It's It's been slow. I've been out for, I don't know, 20 minutes now. Twinkies. I think Cubs have a good chance in this series. I hope they do. Uh, Brandon Morrow going down really hurt them. Like, it, having a, a solid bullpen is so huge in the playoffs. And... Having that arm go down, that, that hurts. But hopefully he'll be back by then. It, it is what it is, you know. But, uh, I mean, they got some good arms in the bullpen, too, apart from him. It's just it's just nice to have a guy who's like, I got a closer. I got a guy who's going to come in and shut the door. And they're, they're, they're missing that a little bit. Ben, what's going on? The blues, uh, where are those blues biting at? I don't know. <laughs> School started, and I have not got out sooner and okay I lived in Muskogee for three years I went to school at Bacon College dog wants the video he keeps looking in the camera hope I get a big one thanks man uh, Woody I think he's probably ready for a nap that's kind of his favorite gig like I said I can play fish with him for five minutes and he's down for the count we are bats to heat up yeah we definitely need the bats to heat up that's absolutely no joke Hobby's been slumping Rizzo Brian's been hitting a little bit. Going to look in the kayak fishing, 6'7", 245. What kayak would you recommend? Wow, you are a big dude. Um, hey, Gavin, how's it going? And you're from Muskogee, too? Cool, man. How long do I sit at each spot when you move? Well, I'm going to move here in about two minutes, so you guys have to bear with me. As far as the kayak goes, uh, when you're that big, I'm a big fan of new canoes just because they're really stable. Look at the Pursuits. They're 13 and a half feet long and I want to say 36 inches wide. I can stand and walk, walk around. I got a video of me standing, doing a headstand and doing a cartwheel and one. And then the Frontier 12s, I'm going to get one of those one of these days with a pedal drive, hopefully. And that, uh, they're 12 feet long and 41 or 42 inches wide. So they're like the ultimate big man kayaks. But being as tall as you are, I mean, even the most stable kayaks going to have a little wiggle. They're not going to be rock solid ones because your, your center of gravity is so, so high. I'm, I'm six foot, like 210. And I, I do great. Or I, those are great for me. What's my PB? Uh, about a 50 pound flathead ish. I don't know. I, I don't weigh him very often. I'm just about. It's more about the adventure and the fight and getting outside. That's like the best part, as dorky and cliche as that sounds. H10 or H12 at Bass Pro. Yeah, those would be pretty good. I wouldn't go with the 10 as tall as you are, but the 12 for sure would definitely be an option. Did I ever go to Fort Gibson Dam? All the time. Like, my dorm was 10 minutes from there, so that was where I did the majority of fishing in college. 
I wish I would have fished more catfish in college. I heard like an 80 pounder got caught on the lake a week or two ago, which is monstrous. Biggest one I got down there was maybe 35 pounds ish. I don't know. It was a nice fight. It was the biggest blue I'd ever caught at the time by far. But I think it's about time to reel up and slide back. Uh, yeah, any any time. Like the H12 is is a beast though. The only thing is it's going to be heavy, but all big kayaks are going to be heavy. So I'm going to reel up and pull the anchor up and slide back, I don't know, probably 50 feet. And I'm going to drop one just past that cover and I'm going to throw one on the seam further down. There's a bunch of like, maybe I'll go further than that because there's a bunch of slabs down there. That's one thing with flatheads. Like if you have little rock, lots of times you have smaller flatheads because the crevices from the hide in are smaller. But if you get big rock like slab concrete or huge boulders, that's where the, the big ones are at. What's up, Dalton? Yeah, beard buddy, you caught any? I haven't had a nibble yet, bud. What's the snag like down behind you? Um, you can see it right, right, uh, right under my, right above my finger, that log poking out of the water. And, but there's a lot more underneath the water, and that's what matters. Those big brush piles on the swing, like on the, the bends of rivers where you got a bunch of timber piled up, that's great, but the fish don't live in there. So fish the cover that's underwater. So I'm gonna go, hang with me. I fished the Kankanee River. You ever fish it? I've never fished in Illinois. My buddy Quebec does. Don't want to snag on the malt licky. I don't get it. I'm a little slow sometimes, so it's pretty standard. And I'll just uh, probably just let them hang out the back and use my trolling motor head down. Hopefully this one is right. Yeah, he's still doing good. A lot of leaves in the water, holy cow. Tell you what, having a uh, trolling motor, that's the best purchase I've made on this boat. Apart from being able to like move quietly from anchor spot to anchor spot, you, uh, if you break down, it's nice to have some form of locomotion to get you out. Fish the Snaganom River for flatheads in Illinois, good fishing. I'll have to keep that one in mind. I've heard lots of good things about Illinois so far. Never fished the Cedar River, it's on my hit list. Hit holes and snags like on the rock, be down there hitting cut banks soon. Nice. Catch any yet, Bet says no, I have not, so I'm gonna move spots. So oh, hang on. So yeah, we're we're moving. Just gonna swing down around and let's try a little different piece. I got some boulders up here. You got some brush up here, and then you got some like little little rock. But you get further downstream and you get some bigger boulders and stuff, which lots of times means bigger fish. We're gonna find out one way or the other. I mean, what the heck? 
and we weren't getting any bites where we're at. We're, I'm using Creek Chubs. Hey, Gabe, how's it going, man? Guess you weren't saying hi to me. I see how it is. What's the depth here? We're in 11 and a half. We will see him there off that stuff, though. That's mostly clay. Ten, nine, a little shower. Nine. Where's that drop off that's supposed to be coming? There it is. It's pretty uniform. I don't know. We'll swing around and give her a shot. Where am I fishing at? I'm on the Des Moines River. Kind of my home river. Solid rock bottom. Hopefully, I don't lose an anchor. So they don't give those things away, unfortunately. The more anchor rope you let out, the less you sway back and forth, which anchor sway just bothers the crap out of me more than it probably should. That don't look too bad. We'll see. Nine and a half foot. Get this guy in. There's a little bit of depth there. You get to see it buried down. Oh yeah, sorry. The backside pose, not not the most elaborate, elegant for me. So, set up, spot number two, and we will see what happens. This is kind of just like a long sweeping outside bend, and there's little pockets in it here, and I'll hit those. And the pocket, or this isn't really a pocket, this is more like this type of habitat I'll show you guys. But see those, those bigger rocks, those slabs downriver? That's those slabs downriver right under my finger or over my finger that's that's what I'm looking at they run down into the, the water big fish live under those things during the day so hopefully one will be enticed by that creek chub flopping around down there do I fish in Minnesota I was looking at I was talking to some people about it I'd like to the bait laws would make it tough for someone who's traveling as far as live baits go and I've never fished the Ohio River, kind of want to. What high, braid, high vis braid do I recommend? Whisker Seeker stuff. It's under a, a blue light, it lights up pretty sweet. Uh, I use Whisker Seeker rods all the way. You're going to the Minnesota River. I've never fished the Ohio, never fished Minnesota. I'm jealous, Jackson. I'm really jealous. I don't know, I'm, I might make the trip next summer. I might just break down. I definitely, yeah, I probably, probably will. I'd like to do more traveling for flatheads next year. I did all my traveling for blue cats and then when I ran out of travel time. 
Upensis. I don't know what that is. Power Pro Braid is best. It's good stuff. There's nothing wrong with it. I, I mean, I, I used that too before I switched to Whisker Seeker stuff. Um, I mean, a lot of records and stuff have been caught on it, so it's hard to, hard to argue with that. Get together with the Northwoods guys. I've never been one to really like to invite myself. Maybe one of these days I'll invite them to go fishing with me. But they're kind of they're kind of big time in it. I'm just a little guy on YouTube. So I don't know if they'd have time for that or not. But who knows, maybe. This is cool. Never watched a live fishing video before. This is the only second one I've ever done. But it's kind of fun. I did one out of my kayak at Milford. And that was a lot of fun. Northwoods Guide. Yeah, I got three, 3,000 or so subs, which is sweet. I think, honestly, it kind of blows my mind that there's that many people who want to watch me catch fish. Well, thanks. Thanks for all of you guys watching. I mean, like I said, never would have thought that. It's weird. But I'll, I'll soak it up. It's fun. It makes I love editing videos, but it makes it even more fun. Get a hold of Muddy River Catfish. He's he's in like New Mexico. He's a long ways away. But I suppose the Northwoods guys and Muddy River Catfish. I'm gonna present at the Catfish Conference this March, February. I think it's February. I have to double check. But I'm gonna present on bank fishing, which is ironic because I'm in a boat right now. But I, I mean, it doesn't matter if I have kayak. I'll always bank fish. Like I love bank fishing. I use my boat to go fish off the bank sometimes. Actually, a lot of the times, I'll use my boat to get to a spot and then camp out on the bank. Got to root for the home, guys. Hey, I appreciate that. And, like, you watch all my videos, man. Means means a ton. Chris videos, and he always has guests. Chris, he is the epitome of, like, the nicest guy in the world. I've never met him in person. But if he's half as nice as he is on his videos, like, I would love to share a boat with that, that guy. Big live feed, 61. I, it's it's cool. This is twice as many as I had last time, which uh, 30 was awesome. 60, 63 is awesome. Uh, I mentioned Milford. Am I from Kansas? No, I, I'm in Iowa. I'm in central Iowa right now. I'm from southern Iowa. But I've been to Milford, I think, four or five times. This last trip was 100 times better than any of those other ones. It's it's just like anywhere. It's fishing. like. You go somewhere and sometimes you, you put the nails to them and sometimes you are the nail, you know. But I, I love Milford. I, I'll probably go back next summer. Can't wait. We might not wait till next summer. We'll see. It's not that far from me, so it could definitely be a weekend trip. But I don't know. Who knows? We'll see. You get busy in the fall, unfortunately, because uh, that's my favorite time to fish. Got a Schmied on there. Yes, sir. Two of them, in fact. I'll get on stuff on Red Rock and the Mississippi River stuff up soon. Sweet. Currently waiting on a kayak, and I will be hitting Milford up. Dude, it's awesome. River Ben, Ray, how's it going, man? And where's Denny at? Uh, he's probably editing a video in his video cavern somewhere, would be my guess. We don't, we don't live that close. He's probably an hour and 20 minutes, hour 15 for me. So lots of times we meet in the middle and go do floats or we just go on trips. Denny's a good time. Love fishing with that dude. He can take a joke and he can give one, which makes the whole trip a lot more fun. If you can't take a joke, I'm not a guy to go fishing with. If you take fishing and life too seriously, yeah, I'm the wrong person to fish with. Always wanted to fish with cats and carp. He seems like a super chill, laid-back guy, too. Um, and he makes awesome videos. He catches big fish. Yeah, I, I fish with him. Cat found a bag of cocaine and heroin and proudly brought it home to its owner instead of my return to your life. 30 wraps and what is... I'm, I'm lost. Just watch, watching. Where are you fishing at? I'm on the Des Moines in central Iowa. River Bend. I am a joke. Not hardly, man. Although you do have some, you do have some good jokes, so I definitely hats off, tip my hat to that. We need action. I need to set this up where you can see my rods. Okay, buddy, checking on you. Appreciate it. Okay. Can we see the rods over here? Oh, 
Oh, there's one. So if that buries in the background, you guys just let me know. That's the one that has the bigger bait on it too. So. Do you always use the nine and a half footer and the, or the seven and a half? I bring them both because I like the nine and a half footer going straight out the side if I need some extra reach. And then the seven and a halves either angled or straight out the back. Same with kayak. That nine and a half out the side lets you put your line out there further to give you a better angle on like root rods when you're tied off to the bank. So I always bring nine and a half footer. If I'm bank fishing, I bring two of them. I actually have two of them now because I got a bobber rig set up too. But uh, that, that's kind of how I do it. I think the reason you're thinking about cutting off your beard is because your coffee drives away the fish. <laughs> Uh, I don't, I don't know about that one. I'm gonna slam the wipers in a few weeks. I hope so. I'll, I'm planning on being down there the first week of October for a catfish tournament on Red Rock. So, if any of you guys are catfishing in Central Iowa, I help out with the Central Iowa kayak anglers, and we're putting on a tournament on Red Rock for channel cats or flatheads if you get lucky. And so, yeah, that'll be going on. It's like you have the man's best friend with you. Yeah, I do. Woody's long. He's usually my good luck charm, but we'll see. We'll see, bud. Call him up. Come here. So, yeah, the I'm looking forward to that catfish tournament the first week of October. It's October 6th on Red Rock. They're capping out at 15 people, but uh, it's definitely not full yet. If I ever use crappie, I actually have one in the bait tank right now. They're, they're pretty good bait overall. Once the, the temps start dropping like they are now, I use mostly use suckers and creek chubs and stuff like that. Maybe some green sunfish, but I get away from crappies and bluegills. Use live shad if I can. Oh, but crappies are great bait. I've caught some of my, no, most of my biggest flatheads have been on bullheads. But crop, if, I've never caught a crappie that didn't go in the bait tank. As, as bad as it sounds, how big are the chubs you're cutting up. I'm using them alive, using them whole. The bigger the better. Never use sucker green sunfish and bullheads work best around here. Suckers are hard to get. Um, next time I catch a crappie I need to smell it because they stink. They're smelly. I'll definitely try that. Why not? Oh. Uh, I don't know if I have leaves on that one or if we're getting some live action or not. I don't know, we'll let him get serious. Did I ever fish the Mississippi? I live up by Pool 10. Any tips? I have one time, I don't remember the pools. I was up by, uh, oh, what the heck is that dam? By Prairie Duchenne, north of Dubuque. But we were smallmouth fishing. The smallmouth fishing was awesome. It really was. It was absolutely spectacular. I caught, I think the first day we were down there, I caught 50 plus. I probably caught, I don't know, we might have caught. I might have caught over 50. It was bonkers. And uh, just eating little stuff. And there wasn't any monsters, but a lot of 10 to 15 inches. And on an ultralight, that's that's a blast. Absolute blast. Normally, I move a lot more than this. Are you using the medium heavy rod? Duck meat works good for giant flatheads. Well, might be an incentive to flat go duck hunting more. I have one medium heavy and a heavy out right now. I like watching your vids, keep up the hard work. I test out what I see you do here in Iowa all the time. Does it work in Arizona? I really appreciate you watching, dude. It's awesome that you get people all around the country. Leaves will get worse as fall comes, tell me about it. How do you become river certified? And Cliff says, hello, Woody. Woody says, hello. He's not amused, he wants to sleep. How do you get river certified? I don't know, I just fish a lot. That's all I do and it's just a fun name I came up with. Maybe I'll make a, ten, a list of 10 ways to be river certified. And I did bump for blues on the Mississippi and it was an absolute blast and probably my favorite way to blue catfish. And the water definitely looks better. That's what I got over here right now. Yeah, the water is pretty good looking right now. Slim Jims, I have to take that out. 10, 10 out of 10 answers. And have I ever tried Capola? Or what the heck are those? Woody's, yeah, agreed, Cody. Woody is as river certified as you get. Maybe you just need to sleep a lot to be river certified because that's his thing. That's his, that's his niche. 
is uh, yeah, top-notch lazy dog, which makes me like him a lot more. And you get Big Wing and Corn Shucks online. Yeah, we uh, once they, well, they're already starting to combine. Everything you do works here in Arizona. That's really cool, and that kind of factors into the way I try to fish. Like, I don't, I don't want to fish spots because spots can change based on conditions, whether they're any good or not. So I fish patterns. Like, I'm on this sweeping outside hole, and I'm fishing in the hole because the water's dropping. If the water was rising, I'd be at the creek mouth up there. I'd be at a different creek mouth. If it was June, I wouldn't even waste my time here unless I fish that creek mouth. I might fish that creek mouth in June, but I, I'm fishing mid-depth holes with a lot of structure in June. Then later in the year, the, the deeper stuff, and then you move in the fall, like the deep holes with, that don't even really have cover start producing a lot more. Which, do you stick to fishing patterns instead of fishing spots? You'll be able to transfer that anywhere in the country and you'll be able to go anywhere in the country and catch fish. Catfish Conference 2019, I will be there. Chicken livers are awesome. I haven't used them in years. Wish I was fishing a knot at work. I wish you were fishing a knot at work as well. Chicken livers, I used to use them in ponds quite a bit, but not, not as much anymore. I think I'm getting a bunch of leaves on that one rod. Do you do, do I do any hunting videos? I've thought about it. I don't have the camera for it is the thing. Like I love pheasant hunting. I love turkey hunting. And I'm not a big deer hunter. I've never even killed a deer, but it's not really my thing. But turkey hunting, I love it. I love talking to them. That's the best part. At least you're watching fishing work. That's true. Remember us when you get 10,000 subs? I hope I do get 10,000 subs one day, and I'm not going to forget. Well, I'm terrible with names, so I'll probably forget your names, but or people's names, but as far as faces and meeting people and really appreciating you guys watching the watching everything like I, I'm gonna keep doing these live things for forever because it's cool to do the, the interaction you know to get to talk to everybody that's awesome so hopefully I get to 10,000 one of these days that'd be, that'd be neat if not it is what it is I'm having fun doing this I'm gonna try drifting bait no sinker into a wood pile I mean if the it's it's the idea it's like walking baits when you're on the Mississippi it's just um, I don't know if I'd use no weight unless you're in really shallow water because you have to get your bait down. But, oh, Elle's on her way to the ramp. So I'll, I'll have to reel up here shortly and go get her. We got pure, I got pure leaf on the boat. I do not. I have water and generic carbonated flavored water. I have one can of that. So that's what we're sipping this evening. Hot springs in the winter. Here, the flatheads love the hot springs. Where do you have hot springs at? We have one spot that has a hot water discharge and you get walleyes and, and hybrids and stuff around there, but <coughs> if the water's right, if, if it's not right, it's not any good. And sometimes when it is right, it's not any good because it gets a lot of pressure, but we don't really have any hot springs that pull flatheads in in the winter, but I don't know. Maybe I'll try it a little bit more. It's a little bit of a drive, but who knows, like November could be worth, worth a shot. Wouldn't hurt a thing anyway. Yeah, ever fish flatheads in lakes or just rivers? I spent a ton of time fishing for flatheads on Lake Sailor or Sailorville Reservoir when I first moved back to Iowa from Oklahoma. Um, where can I get merch? RiverCertified.com slash apparel. And shirts just like these. And Powerade is good on hot days. But I fished Sailorville for 21 whole nights one summer. And from sun up, or sundown to sunup, and I hooked two flatheads. I landed two flatheads, three and five pounds. And then uh, uh, I hooked the two biggest fish I've ever hooked in fresh water too though. So 21 whole days. And if I had land those two fish I hooked, I might just be fishing lakes. But of those 21 nights, I only hooked four flatheads. But one just blew my mind. Like I had a six and a half foot ugly stick big game rated for 30 to 80 pound line. 80 pound mono on it because that's what I was using for saltwater. It was my casted shark rig or short run shark rig. The die was slash 50 and put out 30 pounds of drag. I was using a 14 inch crappie for bait and he slurped it up a half hour after I dropped the bait out there and slow roll set the hook and I had that thing threw head shakes so big I had bruises in my stomach the next day. I don't know. that I have nightmares about that fish still. But yeah, that was 
I was on Sailorville Reservoir. They're in there if you want to put in the time. What waterproof GoPro do you recommend for fishing? I have a GoPro 5, and that I love that thing. People say get a 6, but I might if I break it, which I probably will someday. But right now, the 5 does pretty good. Spencer, give me a shout out. Blood. I'm assuming you meant bud. Ryan, shout out. Appreciate all the support and watching all the videos, man. It really does mean a lot. You average about one good flathead every three times fishing. Well, you're do, doing better than me this year. I'd say years past, that's probably been pretty pretty typical. But uh, not this year. I don't know. So, I, I mean, if you're doing that, Cody, you're doing a lot of things right. So keep it up. Mo Arizona, most rivers have hot springs and then the fish love in the winter. It's a place to be. Gotcha. That makes a lot more sense. Got to go. Patriot Catfishers, thanks for watching, man. Really, really appreciate it. I'm going to reel these rods up, and I'm going to go pick Ella. And if you guys want to enjoy the ride, we'll, we'll see what kind of uh, see what kind of pony she's got. I just want to see a pole, pole bend over. Yeah, that makes probably 63 of us. 64, counting me. Oh, somebody just left. 63. What's Ella? Ella is my wife. She said she wanted to go fishing. So when you're making long runs on spots, I will put these guys back in the bait tank. Does Ella catch flies too or just watch? She got one. She doesn't go all the, all the time, but, but um, she got one a couple years ago. It was like 35, 36, something like that. See ya, Sapper Cats, man. How long are you keeping the stream going? Uh, probably at least another 10 minutes. I'll go pick up Ella and maybe hit a spot. And if you guys want me to keep going, I'm going to keep going. So drop the baits off, pull the anchor. Still lively. That's good to see. Yeah. Tip of the day. Make sure you start the motor before you take up before you pull the anchor up. Sounds wonderful. Side scan on the way up. Hopefully that worked. Yeah, I think we had a log. Eye protection. 
pretty fortunate on her. Got a bunch of uh, leaves that were transducing. Good luck. 
Try to do this without getting your feet wet. That's the goal, no promises. Can you catch it? I'm debating fishing the same spot or not. Iowa, I just got here. What state are you in? I am in central Iowa. Just picked up Ella. And taxi service. Boat taxi. Boat taxi. And I don't know. You want to go up? Fish down here with nothing, so. Let's go head up river. Um, rat four speed system. Everybody says not to shave my beard, but we'll see, we'll see. It's like a little flip. I look like a little flip.
broke out for it to be. Real stealthy with this old 78 M crew sneak up on it. It's all gravel in there, bro. Right now, side scan, looking for spots. This, this drop off looks nice, but there's nothing but depth. There's no rocks or boulders or anything like that. There's a fish in there, though. Right channel cap, you never know. Just let out slow. So we are fishing rock, so we're gonna try some timber. Oh, sorry, Ross. I'll talk to you later. That will lead you to the bait fish. You're going into an internet black hole. Well, yeah, sometimes. We'll see. Hopefully, it'll keep running. If it if it dies, I'll probably call her good. Keep letting line out. Oh. Let her all out. So yeah, we've been. I've fished a bunch of rocks, so no, all of it. Oh. <clears throat> We're gonna try some timber. I'm back. Yeah, sorry I disappeared. The old Des Moines rivers kind of like that sometimes. By sometimes, I mean most of the time. JWS Sports, watch my fishing videos. Um, well, all right, I guess I'll check them out. <laughs> Free advertising, spamming. I appreciate you watching mine. Spam my stuff all day, that's fine. How you doing up there? We got a knot situation? That never happens. Take it there's no Asian carp on the river. No, thankfully, and hopefully it stays that way. Alright, that'll work. Bakes in the water. That's fine. This'll work. We're close enough. Yeah, I'll get baits out and I'll show you how to fish it. Yep, I like that. Get this dude out. Throw him on the current brake. Give her a little bit more time. 
Seems like everyone's dipping out. Appreciate everyone who's staying. Is it your connection? I don't know if it's the connection or if it's just uh, people are tired and do another one of these live streams coming up. I got a lot of ideas, like some, maybe some water or maybe cat flathead fishing, wintering holes for flatheads, or definitely do some riffle channel cats or something. But fuzzy picture, bad feet. Sorry guys, bad spot, but. You guys should comment below what you want Spencer to do a live video on. Yeah, listen listen to Ella, that's what I do, and it's worked <laughs> out pretty good. So thanks guys, we'll see you around.